Welcome to Onyer Emich. We are delighted to have you here at our program this week. It's really nice to be able to spend a couple of minutes with you this afternoon to talk about the Serbian Film Festival in Australia. When did you first organise your first ever film festival? So I've been working with the Serbian Film Festival in Australia since 2007, quite some years ago, but certainly it's been an enjoyable experience over the last nearly 15 years. Who is helping you organise this wonderful event? There is a large team of people across Australia as well as in Serbia that participate in this. I really don't have to do that much as the Vice President of the Film Festival. There is a large team that work with me and uh, thankfully all of their efforts are what you see around uh, here today. How long did this take to plan? Generally it takes nearly 12 months to plan a film festival. The reason is first that we have to talk to all the film producers to work out what movies are in production, ready to be released. Then our uh, film critics in Serbia will actually watch the movies. Then they'll get feedback and work out the commercial arrangements because we are a non-for-profit organisation to then bring those films out to Australia. So generally each year, literally as the last film festival finishes, we're starting next year's event planning. What is the main goal of this festival? Look, it's most important to link uh, diaspora living in Australia as well as born here Serbs to the culture and the film productions in Serbia to keep the language going. So that really is the main thing, to give people a connection that have left many years ago and those that are born here to what is film production in Serbia and, and, and movies that are there. That's the main reason. Who is the target audience of this festival? Very good question. Obviously all people that are speaking former Yugoslavian languages, Serbs, Croatians, Bosnians, Macedonians, Cernogorets, all of those residents and obviously any people that are interested in foreign films and there are plenty of people that are uh, born overseas uh, in Eastern Europe that would find these movies of interest. So anyone that is interested in foreign films and foreign culture, we are targeting. What is the selection process for choosing films? Wow, very interesting question. So again, there is a, a, a plethora of movies that we look at every year. Our film critics in Serbia sit and work at what is most appropriate for the viewers in Australia. We had to consider this year the film festival is held during Lent. So we wanted to get movies that were sensitive and respectful um, for this time of Lent. This Serbian film festival was postponed due to COVID two years ago. Yep. Now, did that affect target like ticket sales this year? Look, so far so good. The opening night is tonight and we have had a complete sale, totally full cinema. So I certainly hope, you know, that the, 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 the movie will start very soon, that uh, we will have great success during the next two weeks of the film festival in Australia. Who is funding this festival? It's non-for-profit. Uh, it's funded by a number of sponsors and we have a number of large sponsors that are funding it, but it's certainly non-for-profit. So we don't run it for profit. I and others are financially contributing to make sure this event is a success. With our sponsors and our partners, Hoyt Cinemas, we are lucky and blessed and able to run this event. Which film is your favourite? Honestly, you'll have to ask me that at the end of the festival, because I haven't seen them yet. Do they have subtitles, if you know? Yes, they do. All of them are in subtitles. Any children films for the future? I don't know yet. We do have documentaries that are, are, let's say, somewhat appropriate to children. And there is obviously a religious orthodox film that is showing this year, which is somewhat children appropriate. But not all the movies in other years, and I can't guarantee for next year. But this year, most of the movies are respectful and are within the age category. Are there any future plans for growing and expanding this festival? God knows what will be in the future. We always touch wood, Akubogda, by the grace of God, what will be, will be. So look, you know, as long as viewers keep coming, we're not doing this for profit. So as long as the numbers keep coming and the numbers are attending every year, we have a reasonable success. We will keep this film festival going. As I'm told that uh, this is one of the longest continuous going festivals in Australia for a foreign film festival. And it's, it's in the top 10 of the longest lasting, being our 20th year uh, in the world. A lot of film festivals have started and then have lasted for a couple of years and then they discontinue. So let's hope that we can go for another five or ten years.
I don't hope that I'm running it in five or ten years' time, but certainly we hope that we'll be going in five or ten years' time. You're welcome to join the team in a couple of years and you can help contribute as a volunteer. We welcome you on the committee. Thank you, John. It has been a pleasure to interview you today. Thank you for your time. It was a pleasure to spend time with you today. Look forward to seeing you next time. Have Look a very good day. You. you too. Bye-bye. Evening and welcome to the opening of the 20th annual Serbian Film Festival in Australia. Nagrada upornom zalaganju i radu na organizovanju festivala proteklih 20 godina je svakako uspešno ostvarenje osnovnog cilja Srpskog festivala filma da publici širom Australije omogući da posle emitovanja u Srbiji budu prvi koji će odgledati više od 120 filmova i savremene srpske produkcije kao i da upoznaju više od 20 gostiju iz Srbije, glumaca, reditelja i producenata. U svojoj 20. godini postojanja Srpski filmski festival je kulturni nacionalni događaj koji se održava u svim glavnim gradovima, kao što rekoh, Australije, u Sidneju, Kamberi, Brisbaneu, Melbourneu, Adelaideu i Pertu. Film koji otvara festival večeras je bilo jednom u Srbiji, Once Upon a Time in Serbia. Režiser je Petar Ristovski. To je melodrama sa elementima komedije. Takođe, ovog festivala imat ćete priliku da pogledate film Nije loše biti čovek. It's not so bad to be human. Režiser je Dušan Kovačević, to je komedija. Krst u pustinji koji ste imali već priliku da vidite i drago nam je da je i dalje ovaj rasprod, da su karte rasprodate za ovaj e, film. E, the Cross in the Desert, režiser je Hadži Aleksandar Đurović, to je religiozni film. I ove godine imamo i thriller, e, Ključ, The Key, režiser je Marko e, Sopić. Posljednji film je As Far As I Can Walk, Strahinja Banović, režiser je Stefan Arsenijević i to je drama. 20 years of the Serbian Film Festival would not have been possible without our founding sponsors and festival friends. We would like to thank the Embassy of the Republic of Serbia for their unwavering support of the festival over the years. We would also like to thank Filmski Centre Serbia, Bell Group Australia, Hoyts Cinemas, TV Plus, Vesti, Srpski glas, Miss Televizija, SBS Radio. We also welcome here tonight Slobodan Bendro and his group, Natasha Damir and the staff from JB Grill in Dandy, who was so kind to provide us the pita this evening. Goran Tocinovic, who has for many years taken amazing pictures. A special thank you to our festival friend, Bison Fest, and the director, Mr. Chris, Mr. Chris Vlachinos, distributor of the film Across in the Desert in Australia. The festival relies on the selfless efforts of its teams of volunteers from the Serbian community around Australia, and we thank them all. And finally, the success of the film festival heavily relies on the number of people who come and watch the films we bring out each year. This is how we are measured by Hoyts and the number of cinemas we are allocated each year nationally. It's really important over the next two weeks that you and your friends come and watch all the films that are shown on the festival. Please as well visit our website serbianfilmfestival.org.au where you will find all the information about the films that are showing over the next few weeks, screening times, how to purchase the tickets, as well as how to vote for your favourite movie at the film festival, as well as an overview of our festival from the beginning. Bližimo se kraju našeg govora. Film koji otvara festival, kao što rekao, je bilo jednom u Srbiji. Ako niste već isključili telefone, molimo vas da isključite telefone ili da ih stavite na silent. Htjela sam isto samo da kažem publici da za vas imamo mali suvenir, tako da kad se završi film i kad budete izlazili, devojke koje su došle ovde divno obučene u svoje narodne nošnje su pristale da nam pomognu da vam te suvenire 
podelimo, tako da vas unapred molim samo za malo strpljenja da to može da vam se podeli. Uživajte u festivalu, pogledajte i ostale filmove koji su na festivalu, ne samo ovaj koji otvara festival. I nadamo se da ćemo u ovakvom broju da vas vidimo i sljedeće godine i idućih godina. Hvala vam. And now to open the 20th Serbian Film Festival, the film Once Upon a Time in Serbia. Thank you again for your attendance this evening. Enjoy the festival. <laughs>